Hello and welcome to the introductory lecture of new CCNA certification known by its number 200-125. I'm saying new because Cisco has recently updated its CCNA routing switching certification blueprint to incorporate new technologies. And from 21st of August 2016, 2016, you will only be able to attempt for the new course. Just like previous Cisco versions, you can take two exams, ICND 1 and part 2 to earn your CCNA RS certification. Now, I've been asked by many students to upload lectures encompassing new topics and uh, honestly speaking, my other professional commitments are just way too much to spare time for lectures productions. Uh, but I have managed to research the topics and incorporate the new topics in the old course. Since many of the core technologies remain the same, uh, there is no need to replace the course altogether. So if you open up a lecture and you find 200-120 in the intro, it wouldn't mean that it is an obsolete topic. Now, coming to the important part that what has changed from previous CCNA, which was version number two, uh, you can have a look at, uh, and let me just pull up the browser here. So you can directly go to learningnetwork.cisco.com slash community and certification CCNA exam and then exam topics, or you can just uh, type in CCNA exam topics in famous search engines and uh, get the results and you can come over here to learn network site so if you pull down the scroll bar you can see the topics over here and you can further expand them to see the details if you are interested definitely you must look at them in detail so that you know what has changed and uh, you can also compare these topics with the older ones if you have got them so that you know what's the difference what has been removed and what has been added basically cisco is trying to bring up the newly certified ccnas with the latest technological trends uh, like uh, cloud computing if i can write it correctly cloud computing and the uh, software defined networks the term that you will find in the exam blueprint will be network programmability so network programmability which is another industry term used for sdn so cisco is basically trying to emphasize that besides being a techie you need to understand the bigger picture as well you will also be learning about uh, BGP but very basic at CCNA level so it would be easy uh, CCNA has also added some layer 2 security which is just an overlap from CCNA security certification for which I had already uploaded a course here and uh, you can access it at highly discounted price by using coupon code CCNA new so all caps N E W let me let me see if I can remove this one. So CCNA new all capital letters. I have already created the discount code and you can access the new course using this coupon code. Uh, there is no frame delay. So I have removed those lectures. But besides that, most of the old topics remain the same. Cisco has also removed bridges and hubs topics. Uh, but I have not removed those from the lectures because they are building blocks towards switching and frankly speaking pretty easy and quick to go through as for the reading part and self study uh, you can purchase the official certification guide from cisco press if you want to get more knowledge about certain cisco terminology or specific about a certain configuration uh, you can also visit cisco.com let me just show you how to do it uh, which I believe you already know uh, that if you go to cisco.com and you search a specific term like uh, maybe you want to send search a specific topic regarding OSP protocol or maybe EIGRP then you can search it uh, putting in the relevant keywords and it will show you all the results or you can also consult this site learningnetwork.cisco.com 
and search for any specific topic like uh, discussions which are going into the CC and A certification level program and uh, start following the discussion or you can sign up for free and create your own topic if you want to but I tell you that these videos along with the certification guide should be more than enough to pass the CCNA RS exam now for the actual lab exercises and uh, configuration part I would recommend that practice should be done on actual physical equipment for example, small footprints, Cisco routers and switches that you can easily buy for a couple of hundred of dollars from eBay that will benefit you a long way. In earlier CCNA certs, all the labs could have been covered by Cisco simulators like uh, Packet Tracer, we call it PT, Packet Tracer or community developed GNS3, GNS3 software. But in version 3 of CCNA, uh, there are certain commands and concepts that can only be implemented on actual equipment. But worry not, first off, these commands are very less in number. Secondly, I will be giving you complete commands and their usage that you can simply memorize for certification sake. Still, more than 95% topics, you can practice them on Packet Tracer or GNS3 to give you confidence for the exam. Just remember that for GNS3, you need to have actual iOS. So that's it for the intro of new CCNA. Now let's head inside and start working.